Welcome to a little late night uh, 3D printer fun. Um, so here we got, a, I'm going to use a ghost bat uh, model that I got off of, uh, uh, I have a camera a blanket on the site. I'll put the site in the description, but uh, Thingiverse, that's the site. Anyway, so uh, uh, it's a really nice uh, model. I thought it would be a really cool project uh, for a friend that really loves uh bats so but in this position i was having a lot of issues with it um you know render actually doing the support structure correct uh, but here i am i'm actually changing the the size on the z axis i i, I like to do that one because it gives me a really consistent height uh that i can you know i always just remember if i change the z axis i know exactly how tall the thing will be in the end uh unfortunately it is such a complex model that it is giving my computer a hard time so but what I uh, my brain wave was to take and rotate it uh, onto its back and that should correct the uh, the issue I'm having um, with the support structure so here it is now it's got to rethink and then we'll go over yeah, it looks like it's touching really good and then we're going to go over and check the tool path and and run it in a couple different ways and what i was realizing is the, all the little overhangs for the uh the tips of the wing when it was in the other position when it wouldn't give any support structure for him so here it is i'm checking just rolling it down it's doing the doing the structure and i didn't really i've I was trying to make it work, so I had a couple settings that I didn't really care for, but we'll uh, uh, we'll play around with this a little bit. And so far, it seems to be uh, supporting everything the way it'll need to, but we'll do uh, change it to my normal support structure, and now it's got a rethink uh, what it's doing um, yeah again, this is a really complex model and my computer's not exactly a slouch but it's uh, yeah it's it's struggling with this particular model any of my normal models it it's right on on the money and uh, figures it out pretty quickly but yeah here we are got the the new tool path which is just a, a raft and then uh, the you know whatever's contacting the build plate for the support area and there it is it looks like it's gonna do good so uh, we will uh, I think I'm gonna change some uh, change some of the the fill out area so I want this one to be fairly solid um, which again it'll have to recalculate uh, I don't this one was mostly solid anyway, just due to my normal settings and how thin it is. But uh, we'll uh, see what it calculates the time at here once it gets done making up its mind. And, oh, there it goes. It's starting to load in. And see how much time we got for this one now. So it looks like it only added a few more minutes, so that the model was pretty much solid anyway, um, which is good. It'll be nice and strong. All right. So normally with my workflow, I would take and uh, load this up onto a. I'll save it, um, and if I wanted to make changes to it because I've I've repositioned it, I would save a just a. a basically a model file and not a tool path and that would allow me to uh, uh, go back through and edit you know change change the size a lot easier because you can't once it's locked into a tool path you can't you can't change anything so now I've got the the model size and I I marked the the size in the file name so that way I wouldn't get confused later uh, as to which one which uh, something I, I decided to start doing when I was working with the Dragon Tooth, um, which was pretty much my first print. So anyway, we'll get out of here. We'll uh, throw in a USB. And normally what I do is I'll load it onto the USB, 
take it out and to my my computer out in the garage but I don't really feel like firing it off tonight so I'll just show you what I normally do and then we uh, uh, end up oh and I totally forgot to put the thumb drive in uh, so there it is now I got the thumb drive and I got all the dragon uh, tooth different size models so then we can go in and we can select the uh, the ghost bat and just paste it in there basically the same thing if I was going to put it onto the SD card uh, same process and the file's not very big all, all in all and that's pretty much it we'll go move on to the uh, rest of it This whole surface prepped already. So, SD card in the little slot. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to click over to prepare, and we're going to start preheating this thing. Preheat PLA. Because uh, the nozzle is at 12 degrees and so is the bed. That's 12 degrees C. It's uh, a little chilly in the garage out here. So uh, I actually got a heater going to kind of keep the edge off of things. So we get that preheating. We're going to go to position. We're going to get home. So just make sure everything's all nice and happy. And we got good movement out of uh, both the lifts, which is was a problem with this unit when I first put it together. Um, it should go there. You go We're back We're about halfway to our temperature, so we're going to go over. Had to refresh it, let them know it's got a SD card. All right, so we're doing a ghost bat. Um, and I don't, I didn't make the, the, the print. Uh, this is more to show uh, how to actually set up the code and make it run. And I thought it'd be nice to do this. Uh, I think I'm gonna do another one out of black and actually give it to uh, my tattoo artist. Uh, but I thought it'd be a cool little uh, practice print, and it's not very, uh, won't take very long to do. So yeah, we're, we're almost up to temp on, on the, the print head. Why is it slowing down? Uh, I must have took it, taken too long. Yep, speed. You can do it. Don't mind, I still got the snuffles from uh, this cold I've been fighting. Oh, I took too long. Alright, so now it's officially heating. Getting ready to getting ready to go now and I think I'm going to play with the retraction on on the filament because it always seems to uh, retract more than I want to so the first uh, two inches of travel or so it ends up uh, uh, coming off the uh, or not actually printing So it should start, there it goes, now it's picking up. Yeah, so that was almost inch and a half of travel that it didn't do anything. But it, so far it hasn't seemed to matter. It just does its, uh, does its thing, lays out its grid.
this this particular model is kind of giving me a lot of grief because uh, uh, when it's in its vertical position, it uh, the program doesn't like to build the support structure properly. So I had a brainwave and thought, well, why don't I turn it on its back? And uh, it looks like the support structure will actually work. But, For now, uh, I'm just going to let this run and uh, give you guys a nice time lapse and then we'll go through the process of uh, cleaning it up. So. little bugger off of here. Let's do it on this other side here too. First part. So we get in here, start 
peeling this second part off. And it's getting there. I just got to trim off these uh, the back pieces here, and it should be pretty well done. It actually turned out really nice. So uh, probably run the the uh, filaments or the the layer thickness down quite a bit. You know, drop it down to a, a point uh, point one instead of the point two that I ran it at. I bet you that would uh, tighten it up a lot. For the uh, finished product here. Anyway, yeah, nice little project for tonight.